Okay, so I just installed the hot racing front sway bar. Yes. It's really nice. It uh, came all together with its own drill bit here. You got to drill out the hole where the sway bar goes. And uh, there's a flat spot on the sway bar to screw down the new arms that come with it. Hot Racing provided the drill bit. There it is. Worked perfect. Sway bar fit right in. And pretty much installed in like five, ten minutes tops. Took off the wheels and the tires. I also got these hot racing hexes with the cool um, brake rotors so I got those but only two of them I got to get a couple more a main only had the one pack in stock so I ordered one pack off a main and the other off of Amazon and the other one didn't get here yet so but yeah, here's the uh, here's the sway bar installed, torsion bar, and it was really easy to install. I used a lot of blue thread lock, came with some extra screws, which I didn't need. I already have mine, and use a lot of blue thread lock. I was told I was told to use red from some people on Facebook, but I use just a lot of blue. That's what the package said. Use the blue thread lock. And so got installed. Everything looks good. It's moving. Perfect. Here's the old one. Very thin sway bar and it snapped really easily and I did that on my last run in the last video you'll see that and yeah I'm gonna put the uh, hexes on had to cut mr. goose over there was barking at someone so but anyway back to the RC stuff I'm gonna install the hexes on the front and wait for the other ones to come and uh, we'll do the painting stuff that uh, my girlfriend, she helped me out uh, by doing the white BF Goodrich. We are gonna do the oil canisters, white and blue for Valvoline. And we're gonna paint the fire extinguishers and we're gonna paint the jack and the batteries. We're gonna paint those up. So we'll get that going. My girlfriend is into crafts and hobby stuff like that. So she wants to help. So she's gonna help me with that. She already did this, as you can see, and we gotta do the rest of those. So we didn't get too far into it. But yeah, uh, everything's running good on this UDR so far. and. I love it. It's my favorite truck that I own. I got the Slash sitting up there. And I got a lot more uh, cars and trucks upstairs. I will do a collection video and a little introduction about myself later. And uh, tell you what I've done. And, you know, I'll show you all my RC toys. And, yeah. So... There it is, the hot racing front sway bar, torsion bar installed, ready to go. All right, got that sway bar on and did some of the scale painting. Some of it turned out pretty decent. Some of it turned out kind of bad, but the green paint I bought it just was seemed old and it I tried mixing it but it was very thin and all the other paints were a little bit thicker so 
and did the best I could. Went with uh, Valvoline oil bottles. Went with interstate colors, interstate batteries. Those are the batteries I use. And uh, painted the jack red and silver. A little bit of black, black on there. And I painted the oil bottle uh, holder toolbox things black. So everything turned out all right, I guess. I'm really not used to doing stuff like that, but gave it a shot. It's all a learning process and you know from afar you can't really tell like, oh they're batteries and oil bottles looks better than it did but you know yeah pretty stoked with how it came out oh and my girlfriend she did these so yeah Here's another one. Did that with a paint pen. It was a little easier. But yeah, I think uh, maybe I'll do the fire extinguishers next. This one broke off, so I was like, eh, forget it. Just leave it. But yeah, so that's about it. Here's my paddle tires I got. Gonna put those on and got the hot racing brake calipers and all that good stuff. That's a servo for another truck. My Latrax collection that I've I've given up on, but I'm gonna try to get them going again. So the servo's out on one. They all need new diffs. Well, one, I replaced the diffs already. And the brushless motor, the shaft is too big for the standard pinion, so I'm gonna have to drill that out or figure something out. I tried to get a new pinion that'd fit on this one, but the pitch is not right for the uh, spur gear, so we'll figure it out. That's another project. But yeah, this is just an update on the UDR, the scale painting stuff and my hot racing sway bar upgrade I'm gonna put it back on I'm gonna put the paddle tires on it and take it to the sand and see what's good all right have a good one big al rc out and don't forget to like and subscribe peace